Here's a large area of soft snow. Question is, how is to cross it? I'm wearing my mucklucks today. Very warm boots made of uh, felt. Whilst they're great for keeping warm, they're not actually so hot for walking on snow. As I walk, my feet sink into the snow, which makes progress quite difficult and very tiring. But if I put on these snowshoes, like that, things should be a bit better. With the snowshoes on, I can want to walk much more easily and with less effort. But we can do even better. With these touring skis, things should be a whole lot easier. The skis are clearly the best solution to this problem. So why are skis so much better than snowshoes and snowshoes better than boots? Well, it's all about spreading my weight. On the skis, I put less pressure on the snow, and so I don't sink in as much, which makes it much easier to travel. Pressure has a scientific meaning, and it's expressed by this simple equation. Pressure is equal to force divided by area, and it's measured in pascals. And in this case, the force is my weight, my mass being pulled down by the Earth's gravity. So we take my mass, which is 90 kilos, and we multiply by the acceleration due to gravity, which is uh, 10 meters per second squared, approximately, and that gives us a force of 900 newtons. We can measure the area of the soles of my boots, and it comes to 0 0.06 square meters. So if we are, for our pressure wearing the boots, it's equal to 900 newtons divided by 0 0.06 square meters and that equals 15 kilopascals. The snowshoes have an area of 0 0.12 square meters together obviously and uh, that brings the pressure down to 7.5 kilopascals which is half that of when I'm wearing boots, so no wonder it's easier to walk in them. As for the skis, their area is even larger. It's 0.18 square metres, which leads to the total pressure coming down to just 5 kilopascals. This machine's called the Tucker Snowcat, and it's got these four huge straight tracks on it uh, to keep its ground pressure down. The machine itself weighs over four tonnes, but the ground pressure with this huge area is just five kilopascals, which is ridiculously the same as me on skis. This is a snowmobile. It's a bit like a motorbike, but on tracks. When I'm riding the snowmobile, the two of us together weigh nearly 400 kilos. But because the snowmobile's tracks are so large, our ground pressure is only two kilopascals. To avoid sinking into the snow, the best option, clearly, is to ride the snowmobile. But, if I get off the snowmobile whilst wearing boots, I'm exerting eight times the ground pressure, and I'm likely to sink into the snow, possibly up to my knees, even though the snowmobile doesn't.